This simulation is the so-called circuits construction kit. For instance, I've just taken a battery and a piece of wire that I can connect to one another. And the blue dots uh, are the electrons, so those symbolize the flow of electrons. Here I've just selected a switch and I put into the circuit and I connect it with more wire. So a switch, an open switch is like a gap, so no current will flow as the circuit is open still. So I am used to light bulb here, which is really nothing else but a resistor. And so when I close the switch, current will flow and the amount depends on the resistance of the light bulb. I can measure the current by grabbing one of these non-contact ammeters, so it gives me a number, in this case 0.9 ampere. And you see that the current is the same everywhere, so you can check it out with the simulation. So, in particular, no current gets used up in the light bulb. It's the same everywhere. We can um, make more complex circuits and explore the behavior. For instance, here I add a second light bulb. So these are now two light bulbs wired in series and um, let's open the switch before I complete the circuit. Okay, so here we go. And you can see because I have now a second light bulb, the current is actually less through both of them because each of the light bulbs has resistance and resistances add up in a series circuit. What happens if I wire these bulbs somehow differently? We're going to explore now the so-called parallel connection. So one light bulb gets is in one branch and a second light bulb now forms another branch. So at the crossing points where the current has two ways to go, so these are the junctions, and we know that the battery um, current splits up between those two branches. Now, have a look what happens. It turns out that we now get more current. So the reason why we get much more current is that we have provided a second way for the current to go. This is not unlike the situation we had in home heating, where you had a second channel for the heat to flow out the door and out the window, for instance. So by adding a second path here, we provide another way for the current to go, so less resistance overall.